Well, AT&T getting into the satellite television business by buying DirecTV. Fox 4's Saul Garz is live in Northeast Dallas to explain what this merger could mean for customers. Saul? Uh, good morning. Yeah, Dallas-based uh, AT&T has about 2,300 of stores uh, just like this one here behind me. Could we see more of them? What about new jobs? Well, right now it's too early to tell, uh, but customers could possibly see changes if this deal goes through. For example, those who live in rural areas who don't get AT&T service may not get it after this deal happens. We're talking uh, expanded broadband to more than 15 million people. Now, if you only want Internet, not cable or phone service, that could be a possibility as well. Customers would also have a choice of new bundles, more options for uh, more devices like laptops and pads and smartphones. Consumers may benefit uh, because they'll now be able to have access more easily to programming they wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So the, the, the NFL package that you get on DirecTV is the best example of that. AT&T is the second largest wireless carrier in the U.S. DirecTV, the nation's second largest pay TV distributor. Together, we're talking 130 million customers. Now, this $49 billion deal still has to get the okay from government regulators. Both AT&T and DirecTV plan on hosting a webcast presentation to discuss this transaction later this morning. Live in Dallas, I would got so for a good day.